This is the Project Gemini Update, your source for all things Project Gemini. Brought to you by Riffical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony K. Greetings, friends, and welcome to episode 193 of the Project Gemini Update. So it is that time that everybody always looks forward to when an album comes out, and that is the vinyl pre-order video. And this is the one. So let's get started. Before we get to the prices and all the important things that you people come to look for in this video, a uh, couple things to discuss. Uh, number one. The color of the vinyl. Now, I know we did a video before about it, and we did a bunch of voting on it, and this and that, and then the video got pulled, video, the poll got pulled by Facebook for some reason, uh, and there was debates here and there about it. But you know what? And I hope this is not gonna sound arrogant or whatever, but I've decided in the end that I'm gonna pick the color this time. I usually let you guys pick it all the time, and I will return to that for the next record, most likely. Uh, but I wanted to pick the color this time, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll explain why. Um, there's been a color that I've been wanting to have done for a while now, and everybody who knows me knows that I'm a big fan of this band, Kiss. And uh, if you kind of look at the colors that I've done already, and this is ironic because you guys voted on these colors, uh, I've had a blue, I've had a purple, I've had a green, and there's one color that's been kind of missing from that sequence that would represent the four colors of Kiss from when they did their uh, solo albums, and that's red. And I know everyone's going to roll their eyes and go, oh, red, Jesus. Like, But honestly, I wanted to get red out of the way because it'll get rid of my bucket list item that I wanted to release records of my own using the colors that Kiss used in their solo album releases. Uh, Call me foolish or whatever you want, but I really wanted to do a red release for a long while, so it's going to be red this time. What red, though? Maybe cherry red? Maybe, a, you know, I don't know, sports car red? There, there's all kinds of reds that they have in the shade fact, shade tree there. So which one will be? I, I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to William about that, but maybe a candy apple red might be cool. Um, but in any case, I'm going to make it a red one. I hope that doesn't affect your, uh, you know, purchasing of it. I really shouldn't. I mean, I hope not. Uh, but I'm going to go with red. I hope you guys are cool with that. Uh, second thing, as we all know, in the world that we live in, everything is going up again. But I've decided again, this time, and everybody keeps calling me crazy that I talk to, whether it's the people that work at train or whatever it is, uh, say that I'm nuts that I'm not increasing the price of my albums on this stuff. But I'm going to keep it still at $30 Canadian <clears throat> for their album. But the shipping is something that I can't do anything about, unfortunately. The shipping has gone up, and uh, it'll be an, a factor in this as well. <clears throat> now, the good thing is, if you live in the United States, if you live in Europe, if you live in the UK, uh, it doesn't really matter because your conversion rate is still fantastic for, compared to the Canadian dollar. <clears throat> so uh, it's not going to make any real difference to you guys, I don't think. Now... Again, I've been very lucky that I have a U.S. distributor guy to help me out, and that keeps the shipping low as long as you order during the pre-order, because once the pre-order is done, all the orders go through me, and then the shipping will be higher, because it won't be going through him. Because I send all the pre-orders that get ordered at this time to him, and then he mails everything out. <clears throat> and it still doesn't cost me very much to do a bulk ship from here to the United States. But that brings me to another factor, which is Europe and the UK. Before I had a guy who was doing it for me as well in there, which made my shipping costs a little bit less uh, doing it that way. But shipping now to Europe, even through Federal Express or Pure Later, has become insanely expensive. The last time I did it for book three, believe it or not, I shipped 20 albums. Okay, I didn't have a, Luckily, I didn't have a whole ton of European orders this time or UK. Well, they were mainly UK. But... It wasn't like a crap load. 
But even still, it cost me over $400 to ship a, 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 like under, I think it was 20 albums, which is ridiculous, to be quite honest with you. So it's going to cost me a hell of a lot less for me to send it to you from Canada. So that's what's going to happen this time with that. I hope you guys don't mind. And I'll talk a bit more, bit more about it when I get to the price of the UK and the European stuff. So without any further ado, this time around, just like with the... This time around, just like with the last record, I'm going to be giving you a price for an album. And we're also going to be having uh, available this time test pressings again as well. Well, let's get to the album first. So the album again is $30 Canadian. What do you get? It's going to be, there's only 100 copies of this album made, red vinyl, 180 gram. Uh, it's going to come with a poster and a sticker this time, a special edition sticker because uh, I want to really make this worth it for you guys, as, as always. Anti-static sleeves, hype stickers. Uh, it's going to be signed and numbered again, as always. Four-page colored booklet, again, with the lyrics and all that. And, the, the you know, all, all the stuff that's been done art-wise is just fantastic for this record. I've been really happy with this one. So it's going to look fantastic in nice, big uh, form for you guys to check out, you know, with bigger lyrics, you know, compared to, compared to the... Uh, to the CD version, I mean, the CD is still great. I mean, Jason, who's done also the vinyl stuff that he also does this, uh, did a gr great job with this. I mean, it's not hard to read at all. I was just making a little crack about that, but you know, CD size and vinyl size, we obviously know there's a big difference, but, uh, and like the prior albums, there will be a variation in some of the artwork uh, between the CD release and the vinyl. And wait till you see what that's going to be. Uh, I'll reveal that once I get the album cover sent to me like I normally do. So let's get back to the uh, price again. So in Canada, if you order this album, it's going to be $30 for the record plus $18 shipping. Yes, I know it's getting crazy for us even in Canada here. So that comes to a total of $48 here. Let me just fix my notes here. Sorry about that. Uh, that's just my little thing I have to fix here. So yeah, $48 Canadian. <clears throat> Again, this is why I'm adding in posters and stickers and stuff like that, because I, I feel it's just ridiculous and that's how much this is costing. And it's not the, so much my thing, it's the shipping that's ruining it for me. Uh, U.S. Now, again, thanks to the U.S. situation, that's happening as far as my distributor net. It's going to be $30 for the record plus $8 shipping. So that's going to come to a grand total of $38 Canadian. Now, yeah, a whole $10 less. But keep in mind, if you order this album after the pre-order is done, the shipping is going to jump up to at least $15. Okay, that's that's without tracking. And that's another thing. Uh, tracking into the United States costs over $20 now from Canada. Tracking to the UK and the United States is ridiculous. Okay, I'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> I'll explain to you why it shows the price that I did. So $8, like I said, is going to be the price right now for shipping as long as you order during the pre-order. Now, let's get to the UK. It's going to be $30 plus $20 shipping. That's how much it costs to ship now to the United Kingdom without tracking, okay? And without tracking, they also mean ground as well, which means it's going to take a little bit longer to get there. If I was to send it air with tracking, it's $50 now, $50 to ship to the United Kingdom. That means that the album would be $80. I just don't think that that's logical in any sense. And I'll tell you this, out of all the records that I've sent out, I've never, ever, ever had a record not show up to England or to Europe. And if there ever was one, which I can't even recall one, was then I immediately sent another copy and nobody has ever gone without. So trust me, Let's just keep it at that price because it's going to be pretty expensive if we do it with tracking and air. It's going to be crazy, okay? So, again, for the UK, it's going to be $30 for the record plus $20 shipping. Now, the United the, in Europe, it's the same thing. $30 plus $20 shipping. And again, if it was air and all that again, it's $50 as well to, to Europe. This is crazy. From Canada, the shipping rates have just gone through the ceiling. So again, $50 total in total for the record 
to send there. And this is Canadian though, so don't forget, if you convert it to the Euro and to the British pound, it's you guys get a, a really good deal still, okay? Uh, and Australia, which are always the people I have my heart broken about, uh, this time it's not as bad, I don't think. Uh, it's $30 plus $25 shipping. And again, you just have to keep in mind that it's not tracking and all that because if it went to you, it would probably be like $100 for that to happen. Uh, so just trust me, stick with the $25 shipping that I'm going to ask for. That brings it to $55 Canadian. I know that the Australian dollar is a little higher than ours, actually. So hopefully my Australian friends will still see the value of this record and grab it anyways, I hope. Um, so that's the cost of the album for the place that I have mentioned here. Uh, test pressings. Test pressings, the, the shipping is going to be the exact same for the test pressings as long as you do it during the pre-order. The only difference is the test pressing is going to cost $40. They are collector's items. I don't get very many of them. That hence the price, and that's not a lot for a test pressing. If you go and check on Discogs and see how much some bands are charging for their test pressings, some bands are charging double of what I'm asking easily for test pressings. And uh, I know quite a few of you have actually been collecting my test pressings. I know a few guys out there have every single one of my test pressings. So uh, here's your chance for another one. So again, it's $40 for the test pressing. So in Canada, it's going to be $40 plus $18 shipping. So that's $58. In the United States, it's going to be $40 plus $8 because of the great shipping. So it's $48 bucks for the test pressing. In the UK, it's going to be $40 plus $20 shipping. That's $60 uh, total. Same with, in, same with Europe as well. And in Australia, the, the cost for the test pressing is going to be $40 plus $25 shipping. So that's $65 Canadian for a test pressing. So there you go. That's all the information that you're going to need. Uh, keep in mind as well, and I'm going to I'm not going to stress this, but you can order through me directly, uh, just sending to the to the uh, PayPal to this email, which is project underscore Gemini underscore 73 at yahoo.ca. You can pay directly to me, but I'm going to ask you if you if you feel uh, if you if you don't have a problem with doing this, uh, I am going to put up the link to Bandcamp as well. You can order through Bandcamp. The only reason why I sometimes prefer people ordering through Bandcamp, even though Bandcamp takes a cut of some of my stuff, um, the, 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 the as far as keeping track of the shipping is much smoother through Bandcamp. They have a fantastic system of everybody's names and what they ordered and this and that. And it's a lot easier to keep in track than sometimes doing it when you pay me directly through PayPal because that way, I just get an email and it says, you got a, something from, you got money sent to you from PayPal. And it's like, okay, and I have to go through it. And sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes I get like 50 emails a day on my email. And these things get jumbled up and lost in there somehow. Well, not lost, but it's just I have to look for them sometimes. So, look, if you want to order it directly, have if you've done that before in the past, you can continue to do so. But if you want to order through Bandcamp, uh, I'll put the link here up for the Bandcamp link. Uh, to go there and you can order the vinyl there as well. Uh, the other thing what was I going to say now, the dog started snoring and you made me lose my train of thought. Shadow. Uh, what was I going to say now? Now I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, probably have to do a band camp. Uh, no. I'll, well, the only other thing I should probably mention, it'll maybe it'll come back to me if I keep talking, uh, is that keep in mind uh, the weight for vinyl is better now, but I'm still putting on the Bandcamp site a release uh, date of around October for the vinyl. Uh, may not be that long, but just to be safe, I put like Halloween as the release date for this album on vinyl. Hopefully it won't take that long to do it. Uh, everybody seems to say that things are going a lot quicker now. So I really hope that it will be the case with that. Uh, See, I'm trying to think if there's anything. There's, I, I, keep, I keep feeling like there's something that's gonna, I'm going to say. Well, one thing, I will put all this information on the fa Facebook pages. I will put this also in the description below here on the YouTube, all this information that you need to order. Uh, other than that, I think I have everything covered for this. Jeez, I keep thinking there's something I'm forgetting to tell you guys. But I don't think so. 
We talked about the price. We talked about the test pressings. <clears throat> we talked about many things already. So I think that's it. Uh, if anything comes up or if I forgot something, I will mention it on the Facebook page or I maybe might make a little uh, a diadem or what's that called? A, a, an addition to this video as well. Okay, so thank you again, my friends, for all your support and for watching the video. Uh, I hope you guys get your orders in and uh, hope, let's make this another fantastic pre-order. And uh, I will talk to you guys all soon. Take care. Bye for now.